Check in here at IRI, team number 7498, Wingus and Dingus. This is a rookie team here, but they don't act like a rookie, that's for sure. Uh, I'm here with Ethan and Joanne, winners of your Canadian Pacific Regional. Absolutely phenomenal team. We're going to talk about uh, their intake, their elevator, and this really weird cooling system that they have for the drive. Weird as in cool uh, here on Behind the Bumper. So, uh, Ethan, let's start out with you. Uh, I want to hear a little bit more about the uh, elevator mechanism that you have here. Um, well, for our elevator, we have it's powered by two seven. 75 motors on uh, verse planetaries and uh, we've just got number 25 chain running up through uh, the in the elevator and um, well if you want to yeah let's power it on and check it out a little bit so, uh, yeah. so yeah so down here you can see um, we've just got some verse planetaries to power it direct from there. All right, moving on, uh, in regards to this, uh, we have a cool uh, hatch uh, intake over here, pretty unique design. Uh, looks even 3D printed as well, too. Uh, so why don't you tell me a little bit what's going on with this? Um, yeah, so the 3D printed, um, this helps guide it in because the cone shape. Um, the rubber bands are over here, it's put on a bearing to help um, just give it a bit of flexibility. So if we're on a little bit of an angle, it slides in really easily. And then, so you just drive in there, and then these two come out and clamp onto the hatch. Yeah. I want to talk about actually these rubber bands here. We can get a little bit of a side shot on that. Um, I mean, these are actually, if you can't see this on camera, these are actual rubber bands that are on the robot. Uh, how has that worked out for you guys? Have they broken all or anything? Uh, how's the uh, durability been of these? No, they haven't broken at all. They've been pretty good. So, yeah. <laughs> been pretty effective uh, so far, of course. Uh, lastly, I think really kind of the showpiece of this robot, uh, Ethan's going to demonstrate, and they're going to plug in here. Uh, and I want to get some noise of this because this is... Uh, a pretty cool uh, motor cooling system. Uh, so I'm going to put the microphone down here so we can actually hear this as it revs up. It's going to get really loud here in just a moment, guys. So now, not only does it sound like we're in an airport now, but I do want to hear a little bit more about that. Uh, so what, uh, as we unplug it here, uh, I want to know kind of what led to uh, creating this. Why is it so special here on your robot? Um, well, we decided to uh, go all out with the drive. So we wanted it to be as light and as powerful as possible. So we chose 775 Pro motors. So that's what got on the drive there. And um, well, uh, because they get a bit warm when you when under a stall condition, um, we decided to implement this uh, fan cooling system. It's also because on first choice we found some uh, 90 watt fans. So um, so yeah, uh, we just 3D printed uh, all of the pieces here, which make up the manifold. And uh, so the one fan uh, splits off to all eight motors. To, and blows air through them. Yeah. Well, an absolutely incredible machine here from Wingus and Dingus coming all the way from New Zealand here at IRI. Good luck during the rest of the competition. Can't wait to see what you guys do in future years as well. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.